Next question is from Simple Not Easy 3. I just started anabolic last week and I already feel stronger. What makes the program so effective? <laughs> Who picked this question? I did. <laughs> you know what? So, why is your program so awesome? Yeah, why are you so awesome? <laughs> no, you know why I picked this Tell question? Us. This is a good, it's a good discussion. So, so they're talking about MAPS Anabolic. And the, the reason why we get this question often with this program, and this will, with the, this will turn into a good discussion, is because when you look at MAPS Anabolic with the, for the untrained eye, you look at the programming and you're like, Oh, I, I, I know all these exercises. Like, what's so great about it? Like, okay, you're doing some sets here. You're doing some reps here. I see that you're doing squats. I see you're doing deadlifts. I think you're, what's, what's so great about this? And it's, it's a good discussion because it highlights the value of programming. And by the way, ev all the most effective workout programs that people talk about online, you know, starting strength, five by five, you know, MAPS Anabolic, you can put that up there. Other programs, if you look at them, and these are all ones that people – constantly promote and say, man, if you do this, you'll, you'll notice results. They all appear to be very simple. Mm -hmm. They focus on the basics, but the beauty is in the programming, the frequency, Mastery the, rep of ranges, the mechanics, and all that stuff. So that's why it's so effective. It's because it's taking the most effective parts and then it puts it together in a recipe that just works. And it does, again, it highlights that the complexity and weirdness of a program doesn't have much to do uh, you know, with the type of results. I mean, this get. is the reason why Mind Pump happened. This would not have happened had Sal sent me over a program he was working on, and then it looked like all it was the like other Zumba, in, yeah. yeah. It looked like all the other influencers programs yeah. that are out there, because at this point in my career, there's there's a handful of things that I had started to piece together, and he addressed all of them in that. Uh, and frequency was one of them. Uh, the big compound lifts was another. Uh, starting somebody in a five by five strength phase. These were all things I started to hack into and realize like we're magical, right? Like one of the easiest, first of all, uh, we train a majority of women. So most of our clients, probably 70% were females. Uh, what I found out of training so many of them over all the years is there's a very small percentage of them that are not afraid of lifting heavy weight. There's a massive Five. stigma still yeah. there. Yeah, there's like 1% of clients I got in my entire career that were female that were like, oh yeah, Adam, I train five by five. Yeah. Like never did that happen. So, and you know, as a trainer, if you move somebody into a phase of training that you know, one, is extremely valuable and two, they've never done before, yeah, blown away. they're going to be, they're going to see results like they've never saw before or like what they saw when they first touched weights the first time. So that was the other thing. Then I, at that time too, I realized like, you know, instead of doing all these crazy creative exercises, if I could just get my clients to do those five big lifts and to do them frequently, two to three times a week, their body would just rapidly change. That was inside the program like that. The trigger sessions were also freaking mind blowing because that was a time too when I was realizing that, oh, it's not about hammer your body and then don't touch it for an entire week. Right. It's that, that whole balloon idea of constantly kind of popping the balloon up and keeping that you know, consistent Active recovery. Signal. Yeah, that exact and, and helping facilitate recovery and keep that signal up. All those things are in that program. And it's just a a perfect storm for 90% of the population that's interested in training. Yeah. And if you add all those things together and they follow a program, it's why it's it's yeah. why everything, it sells the most. Everything in there was uh, geared around honing in that muscle building signal, which is what you describe all the time. And uh, you made sure that each one of those components was, you know, driving that signal back in the forefront. And so it's, again, and that's why it's so effective because it has all those implemented in there deliberately. Uh, so it'll keep you in that state. Yeah. It's it, again, it's in, in the, to, to most people who are consumers in this space. So they're not fitness professionals or coaches with lots of experience. It can be hard to judge a routine when you look at it. You know, people will send you a program. This is my workout. And to the untrained eye, it's all, it's typically, this is how they'll judge it. Oh, wow. That looks really challenging. I yeah. think that's gonna be a good workout right. or, Oh my God, what is that exercise? I never heard it before. Oh wow, that looks really crazy. I think I'm gonna try that. And so they they just have no idea and they end up picking program or they pick a program because someone that looks the way they want right. to look is promoting. They're it. shredded, so therefore it's gonna to happen to me. Yeah, and you know, this is one of the reasons why even though I never competed in strength sports, um, one of the reasons why I, I, I place so much value on strength sports like powerlifting, Olympic lifting 
Or any type of competitive sport where you have to lift, where it's objective. It's like you either get stronger or you yeah. don't. Strongman competitions. Strong, the reason why, I, even at an early age, you know, even when I subscribe to all the bodybuilding magazines, I also subscribe to these obscure powerlifting magazines because I really realized early on these guys and girls, like they are following the best workouts because you either get stronger or you don't. Right. Like you can, there's a lot of people that look better than me that don't work out nearly as well as I do and have nearly the good diet that I have because of genetics or other factors. But when you're in competition over strength and you either get stronger or you don't, and that's the bottom line. So the best programming came out of these strength camps. Right. And also when you look at the way people trained or strength athletes trained, you know, at the turn of the century, before supplements, before advertisers, it was just what worked. And you found some commonalities. Like everybody trained the whole body three days a week. This is how everybody worked out. Some people split it up, but most people didn't. Everybody did certain lifts and got really good at them. Nobody trained to failure. They all said, no, you got to make sure you have enough energy for the next workout. And it's like, there's wisdom there. you know. Well, and it's very deceiving for the consumer because you can get shredded on a shitty program. Yeah. Because getting yeah. shredded is is just reducing body fat. So if you're just touching weights and you're dieting and you get lean, you you might have the perception as a consumer like, man, that program worked hella good. Yeah. Like, no, your diet worked really good. Yeah, that's you got, got there in spite of the crap. Right. That's program. right. And the, the, the program actually didn't help you as much as you think. If you have really good programming <laughs> and you diet well, it's amazing even more how much progress you can make. But if you don't know that... And you look at a program and what you're looking for is how creative it is or how many random things in it that you don't know or how hard it mm -hmm. looks like it's going to be. Like Those are all terrible markers of what a good program I, is. And it's, in, it's actually the beauty in anabolic is its simplicity. Totally. I had a, I had a buddy, uh, this reminds me of the story, I had a buddy who's always had challenging uh, challenges growing his legs. He was tall. He had relatively skinny legs. No matter what he did, they wouldn't build. And he did all the routines and all the combinations and the leg press and hack squat and leg curl and all that stuff. And then somebody told him to do this program called Squat Every Day. I don't know if you guys have heard about this, yeah. right? Where you do squats every single day. Now you vary the intensity. So some days are hard. Some days are real easy. But you do nothing else for your legs except you do squats. And he was convinced because he had tried everything. And I told him, I said, this is the one thing that's going to work for you. And he goes, ah, I'm skeptical. Like squats? Yeah. He goes, it's too simple. I do all these other exercises. Let's see what happens. He gained more size. He gained so much size in his legs over such a short period of time. He got stretch marks in his legs and he was blown away. And, and he couldn't believe it. And I was like, well, yeah, it's, it's the, the programming isn't just the 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 weirdness or craziness or variety of exercises. Programming has a lot more to do with things that really work. And oftentimes when we look at something that's designed that way, to us it seems simple and rudimentary, but that's not that's not true. Try it out and then see it's what no happens. It's no different than a software engineer writing code. I mean, one of us could sit down and put a bunch of code stuff. Ones and zeros. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could <laughs> put a bunch <laughs> in a row too and be like, hey, check out my code I wrote. And fucking, you plug it in, it doesn't Dude. work. You know what I'm oh, that'd be scary I'm to that's see how I, hey, I feel that insulted when I see programming sometimes by by trainers that try and claim some shit's good. Like, oh, check this out. Like, no, bro. Probably how a software engineer would feel if I sat down and tried to write code for fucking uh, totally, a computer. Totally. Laugh at me.